can just get past the blue to the thin edge on this red. Oh, oh where's the red going? Oh, he's cut it in. Well, it's probably all he could see of the red. It was a guide. Cue that nicely. Now you'd think he'd want to go up off the blue here. There's, a, oh. there's not many reds in, in the open. He won't want to play for the black and play the cannon. Needs an angle on the blue. Six. Absolutely inch perfect. I had a lovely shot. Just a nice bit of left hand side. I just took the, the cue ball to the right side of the blue. He's okay here. I think the pink pot's the left corner. He's got a red to the right corner. 11. See Stuart Bingham in the background scratching his head. He fears the worst here. 12. Nineteen. Nineteen. Just about okay there. He had to flick off the pink. He's just over screwing one of these, one or two of these shots. Which is unlike Ronnie, he's usually inch perfect with his positional play. Twenty-five. I think he'd be very relaxed. No Ronnie. He's not been at his best by a long stretch. He's still three went up. A heavy contact there, I think. Yeah, I think you're right, Stephen. That cue ball didn't run as it should. Now you see it. But a good shot with the rest. And when you consider how easy he switched his hands, it's amazing how good he is with the rest, because he doesn't use it often. Thirty nine. Forty. Another, you'd have to say it. Poor positional shot. Good three or four inches short with the cue ball. No problem potting the pink, of course. It just makes the positional side of the shot a little bit more tricky, but that's fine. Pink doesn't pot to the right corner, though, so... 46. Just screw back for the blue to the right centre. 47. Played it well and perfect on the blue. You take nothing for granted because John Parrott came out with a terrific line that Joe Davis used to say, there's no easy shots at snooker. So you can't drop your guard for a second, but what an opportunity this is. He's just overrun that a fraction on the blue. Can he hold for the red to the left corner? He couldn't, but he's nicely avoided the kiss on the black and that is inch perfect. 58. The pink 59. and one more red. And there you go, he just saw the running slightly so Stuart Bingham won't be coming back to the table. 65. He's staring 4-1 deficit in the face here.
raise of the eyebrow from Ronnie there. I think he thought he'd missed that pink. 73. May play for the black here. 79. Because he can just roll in the black and he can get on the other red that's near the top cushion. And with this red being tight to the cushion, you wouldn't expect him to miss it. 87. Oh, well, it was just off the cushion. But no problem. Just beginning, it seems, to be going 95. through the gears now. Yeah, you have to say he's been allowed to do that, John, out of the first four frames. It was very scrappy. As we keep going about that block at the spot, the second frame is when he makes the century. Stuart missed a trick in this match early on. Just over six and a half minutes for that century break. 106. Yeah, there's one telling stat at the moment. Ronnie O'Sullivan's pot success is 96%. Stuart Bingham's is only at 87%. 115. That's not good enough in this class. Well, it's a little too difficult, so he's not going to have a go at it. But once again, Stuart Bingham had a chance. But it was Ronnie who seems to be slipping into a higher gear. And he now leads by three frames. 4-1.